welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a service dog in training. His name is Finnegan. He's seven months old. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to do the basics of clicker training. So if you don't know what clicker training is, clicker training is a method of training used to communicate with your dog better. So the clicker is used when you're teaching a new behavior to mark that behavior so that the dog understands that that's what they did correct and that they're gonna get a reward for that. So the clicker is not used to ask for a behavior, but to mark when the correct behavior is done. For example, once the dog does the correct thing, you click your clicker and then deliver a treat. So the clicker is a bridge between the time it takes to get the treat to the dog's mouth so they understand that when they hear that sound, that means that they did it correct. Dogs have like a three second period of time between when they do the behavior and when you reward them from that behavior, they figure out that they did it correctly. So you wanna make sure that you're trying to reward within that three seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what a clicker looks like. This is what it looks like. And you just click this button and then you'll hear the sound. So we use a clicker when we're training new behaviors usually because it's super important to have really clear communication with your dog when they're learning something. So we use the clicker in place of our marker word. A marker word is a word you use when your dog does something correct. So I use yes, some people use good. We will use a clicker instead of that word. So why would we use a clicker instead of a word? That's a question people ask a lot and it's because the clicker is an artificial sound. So the only time the dog is gonna hear that sound is when it's gonna get a treat. And every time we say yes or good job or whatever word we're using, we're saying it in a little bit of a different tone. So it's just a super clear way to communicate that right then what they did is correct at that moment because timing is super important in dog training in general and in clicker training. Step number one is called loading the clicker. So what loading the clicker is, is trying to get the dog to understand what the clicker means. So in order for the dog to understand, they need to know that a click means they're gonna get a treat. So loading the clicker is really easy. We just take the clicker, click and treat, and we'll repeat that. So click, give the dog a treat for nothing. So they're getting freebies right now. So they're just standing there, you click and treat. And usually do that about 10 times, and then the dog will start to put it together that when they hear the click, that means a treat is coming. So you can tell your dog is ready to start clicker training when after you click the clicker, you see a change in their behavior. So that could be them licking their lips, looking at you, looking around, twitching their ear, anything like that. Just a really simple physical cue that they understand that the click means a tree is coming. After we've loaded the clicker, so they understand what the clicker means, step two is capturing or luring. <music> two different ways that are pretty easy to train most basic behaviors. So the first one is capturing. So capturing a behavior is when you wait for the dog to do the behavior you want and then you mark and reward. An example of this is if you are trying to train your dog to lay down, you would go in like the living room or somewhere they lay down a lot and just wait. And eventually the dog is going to lay down. Once the dog does lay down, you're going to click and treat. And you would repeat this process until they understand that you like it when they lay down and then they are doing it on purpose. So maybe they'll come up to you and lay down because they want a treat. A lot of times capturing the behavior can take longer in the upfront. So maybe like 45 minutes total time to teach a behavior, but it can be a lot easier sometimes than phasing out a lure. So the process of capturing a behavior is waiting for the dog to do it. The dog sits. I see the dog sit. As soon as their butt hits the ground, you click your clicker and then you deliver a treat. You repeat that until you can tell they are purposely performing the behavior. After you can tell they're doing it on purpose, you add in a hand signal. So whatever hand signal you want. After four to five times when you do the hand signal they're doing the behavior, you know that you're ready to add the word. Say the word, do the hand Sit. signal, and then they'll do the behavior on the hand signal, and eventually they'll put the Sit. word to the behavior. The other pretty easy way to train a behavior is to do something called luring. So some people prefer capturing behavior, some people prefer luring. It's really up to you and your dog what works best for you guys. So luring is when you literally use the treat in your hand to manipulate the dog into the position you want. Raise your hand to their nose and you lure them into a sitting position. 
you would click tree. Something about luring that can be kind of hard is you'll have to phase out the lure. So what that means is every time you want your dog to like lay down or something, you don't want to have to get on the floor with your dog. So to phase that out, you just slowly take your hand less and less and so you're luring them less. If they understand you like that behavior, they'll eventually start to do it with less of a lure. And then same as capturing, you add a hand signal once they're doing it repeatedly without the complete lure. And then you add a word once they're doing the behavior on a hand signal four out of five times. The final step to clicker training is phasing out the clicker. So the clicker is great for training new behaviors, but a lot of times we wanna phase out the clicker because it's not necessary anymore after you've taught a behavior. <music> face the clicker out is pretty much how we loaded our clicker in the beginning. We're now going to load our marker word. So if we're using yes, yes we would say yes, click, tree. Yes, yes, click, tree. And then phase out the clicker. So it's yes, tree. And then they understand yes. that that word means they're getting a tree. And once the dog knows the okay. behavior, they obviously yes. know that you like that behavior. So the clicker is not really as crucial as it is when training a behavior. So that's the basics of clicker training. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any video suggestions, you can comment them down below. You can follow our Instagram, service.dog.finnegan. And if you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our service dog and dog training content. I hope this video helped you understand clicker training a little bit better, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.